So I think language is very important. The church has always said that salvation is by faith alone, and I understand why they say that. Ephesians seems to point to that, so on and so forth. Um, However, if we take all of the scriptures in tandem, it seems as though faith without works is dead. And so therefore, how would we reconcile those two things? And I would say that... uh, and. Yeah, I need to be careful because I don't want to be labeled a heretic here. I think that our justification is is uh, is a gift from God. It is predicated not on us in any way, shape, or form, but that it is a gift of God that is given to us. And therefore, justification is by faith alone. And that faith is a gift of God. Um, sanctification, which I believe is part of a believer's walk, and some might say, I don't know if they would or not, but some might say that sanctification is a part of our salvation, Um, And it is a dual work between us and the Holy Spirit, which conforms us more and more towards Christ and to the law of God. And in that respect, I would certainly say that, yes, uh, that we are, our works matter in sanctification. And a believer who is not sanctified, does not show sanctification, uh, was not justified, right? And so we talked a little bit about these things. So Anthony writes that, now this was part of that conversation, by the way. He did not write back in. Uh, This was all part of that conversation. But Anthony wrote this question, which I think we've, by the way, we have talked about this before. In fact, the reason that I I named this particular episode, uh, What is the Gospel Again?, is because I think, and I could be wrong about this, but I think that in our past shows, we've done a show called what is the gospel? And I think that we talked about this very question. And so uh, we'll probably go ahead and, and say a lot of the exact same things that we will be, that we said before. However, that is neither here nor there. I think that this is a, I think this is one of the more important questions. And this is the question that Anthony poses. He says, I would like to ask you both, how is a person saved and what is the gospel message? So uh, what I just talked about, I think, is is the complex notion of how is a person saved, which is justified first. A person cannot be saved unless they are first justified. Justification is a work of God alone, and we are justified by God and through the shed blood of Christ, right? So he justifies us by the work that Christ did on the cross. And those who came before Christ died on the cross were justified by faith in the work that Christ would do on the cross to take care of their uh, their sin, the sin problem, right? It's all about the, the sin problem. Um, we'll move on to the gospel, what is the gospel message in a few moments. But first, Rob, how is a person saved? And by the uh, way, real quick, an, an, I, wait, I want to tie... An, oh, another, sh- an, another show that we've done, by the way, was on uh, the, the term... Uh, the, it was a book that we reviewed... Uh, which was salvation by allegiance, allegiance alone. Yeah, right. uh, Matthew Bates, maybe. Right, I think that's I right. I think it might be, and we, yeah, I think we did. We talked about that book. It's not a bad. It's not a bad word. Allegiance for pistis. It highlights it. Right. It helps. In, it you know, it's like an amplified Bible kind of thing. <clears throat> Whenever you get to a word, faith, allegiance, <laughs> right? Um, uh, you know. I don't know. It's what like else. the message Devotion. Bible, except for, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. just keep putting allegiance everywhere. Right. That's fine. Uh, uh, that's fine. Um, w- one thought, <laughs> if I may, back to the, the question of differentiating justification from sanctification. Sure. I, it, it just, you know, the hot topic that we started with this is this revival idea. And the, I think we talked about, and we've heard people say, yeah, let's just wait and see what the fruits are. Right. No, let's just, accept it okay you know people say that they are coming to faith and dedicating their life to god then take them at their word right right and 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 then what we see is well check in four or five years down the line and and see the fruits and for those that are are indeed justified there will be a path of growth in the lord their right. life will be changed and, and it's not an instant. Maybe some things would be instantly changed for sure. You know, God can heal instantly. He can remove addiction instantly. Like right. there's all sorts of wonderful things. But And great stories about those things happening. Yeah, right? but that's not the, but 
the walk of discipleship is a walk of of transformation, not just one one change and then you're done. And it's a long road. It's, yeah, it's a it's it's a long road, and we we continue. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.